Hi, I'm Eli Person from Dell EMC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recover protected virtual machines and run them as EC2 instances on the AWS cloud. I'll explain the recovery flow, the types of recovery, and the difference between them, show how to start a DR test recovery using Avam Administrator, and a failover recovery using Cloud DR Server. And lastly, show how to access a recovered instance after it's running on AWS. In order to perform a recovery, we need to select a backup copy and target AWS network. Then a recovery service instance is launched and converts data stored on S3 into VMDK files. This process is called rehydration. After the rehydration is completed, and if no other recoveries are needed, the restore service instance is terminated and CloudDR server initializes the conversion of VMDK files into Amazon Machine Image, an AMI file. When the conversion is completed and the AMI is available, an instance based on the AMI is launched and we can access it. There are two types of recovery, DR test and failover. The main difference is that a DR test is used to temporarily access an instance and test that it's running as expected. A failover recovery should be used when the on-prem site is unreachable or in a DR scenario. Make sure to power off the on-prem virtual machine in case it's still accessible in order to prevent accidental data loss. A DR test can be either promoted to failover or terminated. To start a recovery using Avamar Administrator, from the main screen, click the Backup and Restore tab. Locate and select the virtual machine you want to recover, then click the Restore tab. The calendar will show the available backups of the virtual machine. Select a date and look for the details on the top right panel. The second row can be expanded to display more information, including the backup copy that is stored in the cloud. Make sure the copy you want to restore is selected, then click the R Now button. In the pop-up window, select the recovery type, the R test or failover. From the drop-down list, select the target network. The list shows available VPCs and subnets in your AWS account and should be created ahead in your AWS account. Click OK to continue, then click Yes to initiate the DR test recovery. To view the recovery status, navigate to the Activity screen, then select the DR Activities Monitor tab. When the progress indicates 100%, the instance can be accessed. Now let's review how to run a failover recovery from the CloudDR server. First, log into the CloudDR add-on and find the CloudDR server public DNS address. Click the link to open a new browser tab to the CloudDR server. Sign in with the admin user. On the dashboard, we can see there is already a running recovery activity. To view the details, click the See All link. You'll be redirected to the Ongoing Recovery Activities page. You can see that the DR test we initiated from the Avamar Administrator is displayed here. Navigate to the VM Recovery page using the navigation tree on the left. Select the virtual machine you want to recover, then the recovery type. This time we'll select Failover. A pop-up warning message about potential data loss will be displayed, suggesting to start with the DR test first. Click Select Copy to continue. From the calendar, select a date, then select a copy you want to use to recover. When ready, click Select Network. Select the VPC and subnet you want to launch the instance into, then click Start Failover. The process can take a while. In this demo, we'll speed it up. You can click the error icon to expand and show more information on the instance and original virtual machine. After the instance is running, its public or private DNS address is displayed here. Depends on the subnet configuration. If it's configured to auto-assign public IP to new instances, a public address will be displayed. Otherwise, the instance private address will be displayed. And you'll need to create and assign an elastic IP to the instance. We'll switch to the AWS Management Console to the EC2 instances page. Here we can see our CloudDR server instance and our two recovered instances. 
A recovered instance uses the default security group of the VPC. Make sure to change it in order to allow the inbound connections or assign another security group that allows it. We'll change the security group that the instance is using to a pre-created security group that allowed SSH and RDP access. You may also want to add other protocols such as HTTP or HTTPS. Select the instance, then click the Actions button and select Networking, then select Change Security Group. Edit the security groups and click Assign Security Groups button. This security groups allows inbound SSH and RDP traffic from all over the Internet. When you create or set your security groups, make sure to configure it to allow access only to IP addresses from your organization. You've successfully recovered virtual machines and can now access the EC2 instance running on AWS. Thank you for watching this demo.